Hello folks, how'd your guy here? As a, uh, as a gross store guy, one of the things I'm asked about more often than not is uh, to show people how to calibrate their pH pen. It's not the most complicated thing in the world. Okay, first thing I've got here is a glass of plain water. Just tap water, it doesn't have to be special. Alright. Uh, each pen's got their instructions. Make sure you keep them. Okay, the way the pen comes now is generally there's going to be a plastic cap covering the electrode. They want you to uh, they want you to soak the electrode for a little while in some tap water. Generally, if they don't specify it, I just do it anyway. I've got here pH seven and uh, pH buffer four. These are the calibration solutions. These are buffered at pH seven and pH four. So. That's what you use. Okay, I got a couple styrofoam cups here. I'm just going to put a little bit into each one. All right, nothing trick about it. Okay, now the Oakton uh, pH basic here happens to be very easy unit to use. Comes with batteries straight out of the package. I'm just going to turn it on. So now is a bit of an example here. Just see what this bad boy is going to read straight out of the package. Giving it a little bit of a stir uh, helps. I'm not sure if it's just uh, exchanging the surface area contact of the electrode so it gets a, a more even reading or um, whether or not you know ions are concentrated in it. I don't know. I'm not a uh, molecular scientist. Okay, so at this point here we're at 8, 8.2, 8.3. I'm guessing the water's a couple points lower than that. It, it might not be because it's raining. Uh, my tap water, when it rains, becomes a bit more turbid. Uh, the pH can increase, probably because of uh, calcium bicarbonate or something in the water. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into the pH 7 first. Well, now if my, uh, if my water was really a couple points um, lower than the pen was reading, the pen would probably say 9, and it's not. It was at 7, now it's at 6.9. So on this model, all the models are different, but right here all I have to do is press, press cal once. It's now uh, currently blinking cal. Now it's blinking 7.0. And uh, when it's finished blinking, that is when, oh, see enter showed up there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that too well. But now it has entered, and uh, the device has been calibrated. So I'm going to rinse it off in some regular tap water here, give it a quick wipe, and now it's time for the pH 4 buffer solution. I'm going to pop her into the 4. Well, it looks like we've got a 4-3, 4-2, maybe a little bit of a stir, 4-1, 4-0. Okay, it's sitting on 4.0. Oh. Another good thing about the calibration is you get to see how long it's taking for your pen to uh, to read the pH, and you, you get to determine how long you should be putting your pen into your nutrient solution in order for it to uh, equalize and give you a proper readout. Okay, so now I didn't hit Cal again because that was pH 4, so there's no reason to calibrate it. I'm going to put it back into the 7 and right away and that's still seven okay so that's it this unit is complete now I've got a second unit here let's just put this to, to the side for a sec second unit is a different different style of a unit there are some styles with a single push button calibration 
There's other models made by different companies or maybe even the same company that are uh, that are adjusted with the use of a screwdriver in the back. Just like that. Okay, so this one here again, screwdriver generally comes with the unit. Just going to soak that electrode for a sec. All right, well now we've let this uh, let this model soak in plain water here for a little bit. And uh, let's see how she's reading. Okay, I'm going to turn, put the unit, I'm just going to put it back into plain water. Just because I'm curious to see what it reads. And uh, we've got 7.0, 6.9. So, this one's reading that tap water quite a bit differently than the last one was. It's a good chance then that it is off. So, dropping it first into the 7, we've got an initial readout of 6.7. It doesn't seem to be changing at all, so assuming it's stabilized, on the back of the unit here, there's a little hole, and underneath the hole it says pH 7. The screwdriver that comes with it, of course, fits into the little hole. If you lose the screwdriver, you can usually find uh, little kits at the dollar store with a screwdriver similar to this, or at a hardware store. Okay, now it's dropped down further to 6.6, .6, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to uh, turn it clockwise. it reads seven. Now these are kind of touchy. Oh, seven one. Seven point oh. Okay, they're a little bit little bit finicky, a little bit touchy, but uh it is reading seven. So let's get a give it a dip in plain water here. And into the pH buffer number four. Uh, instantly it switched to 4.2, 4.1 with a bit of a stir. And it stabilized at 4.1. So again on the back, there's a second screw hole here that says pH 4 slash 10 below it. So I am using the 4. So I'm going to turn this screw. Now because it's 4-1, I want it to go down. And on the 4-10, clockwise is down. So the two screws have the reverse direction. Okay, uh, oh, no, there we go. We're stabilized at 4.0. So, that's good to go, give it a bit of a rinse, get the buffer solution off it, give it a bit of a wipe, now let's put it back into 7, and uh, see how well we did here. Now, the, it's reading 7.1, now I'm a, a very anal perfectionist here, so I'm going to zero this into 7. Sometimes you do have to go back and forth, uh, depending counterclockwise this time, depending on uh, on how far it's out. Um, sometimes the uh, the circuitry seems like it's a bit confused, but after a little little bit, it does end up calibrating when you're using the uh, two screw system here. So now we've got the 4.0 on the money and we've got the 7.0 on the money so this unit is calibrated <laughs> 